come to us this night, O God. Speak to us this night, O God. Dwell with us this night, O God. Let the darkness of night gather us. Let light and warmth hold us. Let the tools be stored away. Let the work be over and done. Let this winter give us space for rest. But let our hearts be healed, melting into spring. Thanks be to you, O Christ. Each night we remember your mercy given so gently and generously. O God, from whom each thing that is freely flows. How shall the young keep their way clean by keeping to your word? I treasure your promise in my heart that I may not sin against you. With my lips I recite all the judgments of your mouth. I will meditate on your commandments and give attention to your ways. Let us pray. Holy God, you are just in all your ways and your commandments are the greatest of treasures. Teach us to love you with all our hearts and to love our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen.
For I have the desire to do what is good, but I cannot carry it out. For I do not do the good I want to do, but the evil I do not want to do, this I keep on doing. Now, if what I want, do not want to do, it is no longer I who do it, but it is sin living in me that does it. So I find this law at work. Although I want to do good, evil is right there with me. For in my inner being, I delight in God's law, but I see another law at work in me, waging war against the law of my mind and making me a prisoner of the law of sin at work within me. What a wretched man I am. Who will rescue me from this body that is subject to death? Thanks be to God who delivers me through Jesus Christ our Lord. I'd like to suggest three variations on our theme created for community as it applies to the self. The first variation is created as a community. We have within ourselves a whole crowd of wildly diverse desires, potentials, capabilities, some domineering, some reticent. I chose these verses from Romans not because I have the theological chops to understand or explain it, but because Paul, the great missionary, confesses on the eve of his last trip to Rome that he remains conflicted, doing what he hates rather than what he wants to do. I know this frustration, and every time I can't make up my mind or motivate myself to carry through on my resolutions, I'm conscious of the many conflicting forces in me. I liken the part of me that calls itself me to a coach who chooses which desires and potentials get to play most of the game, which gets sent in occasionally from the bench, which ones don't make the team, and which ones won't even be allowed in the building. Minnesota poet Robert Bly describes being born with 360 degree glory. That is, we are capable of and inclined toward the full gamut of activity. Human infants have to be taught almost everything. How to take care of ourselves, how to share. Toddlers can't play with knives because they would cut each other and themselves just for the fun of it. Bly imagines these unacceptable parts of ourselves stuffed into a long bag that we drag behind us where they jostle to get out. He suggests that anger or disgust about something or someone on the outside often concerns something jostling around in our refuse bag. Being created as a community includes figuring out how to acknowledge the destructive forces in ourselves without being overwhelmed by them. One example, if there's anything I hate, it's people in ch churches or schools or politics who are in it for the power rather than for the good of the whole. I've contributed substantial money and time and written hundreds of postcards to combat those who I thought were power-mongering politicians. But actually, as a composer and conductor, I spend much more time every day 
dreaming up intricate new ways of telling other people exactly what to do. <laughs> the Gloria Day choirs and instrumentalists will confirm that not a rehearsal goes by, but that I stop the music to insist on some obscure detail. It's not in, it's in. It's not G sharp, it's G natural. No, breathe together, play together, try it again. I totally get and practice this will to power that I so despise in others. I can only pray that our long-suffering musicians can believe that there really is a greater good that's being served. The second variation is created through community. We already acknowledged how children learn what it means to be human from others. Even in adulthood, we remain very suggestible unconsciously mimicking each other, we are susceptible to groupthink, racism, classism, but also activism and altruism. Research confirms that friendships increase longevity and quality of life, and that simple gestures like smiling, holding hands, and for romantic partners, kisses that last longer than six seconds impact our brain chemistry in positive ways. Singing is especially beneficial for building both community and personal identity. We become ourselves, we are created through community. Variation three, all of us face adversity from without and like the Apostle Paul, failure from within. We will experience betrayal and betray others. Indeed, many steps in the process of maturation only come in the wake of disappointment, failure, and all too often, unearned suffering. But the life of Christ is celebrated through the Eucharist, gives us a rite of passage to escape the cycle of loss and revenge. We confess how we have failed and call on God the Creator and All-Powerful. Broken open, we listen to God's lessons. We ask for forgiveness. We promise to forgive. And we meditate on how Christ was betrayed, suffered, forgave, died, and was resurrected to new life, a new relationship with God and God's people. This is our hope and can be our experience. As a young man, I had no use for what we called suntan lotion. Decades later, my skin remembers that many sunburns and has visited me with, fortunately, slow-growing cancers. In late 2021, I was introduced to a brilliant doctor who cuts people all day, 40 hours a week, more than 40 weeks per year. Over the course of a day and several surgeries, he liberated me from those dangerous cells, leaving an oval of bare bone about four by five centimeters. He told me that he couldn't heal me. My body would have to do that for itself. For over two months, Michelle changed the wound dressing twice a day and new skin appeared. A Jewish friend went to an Indian guru for help recovering from his nervous breakdown. One of his lessons has stuck with me. Good things come from long-term relationships and doing what you say you will do. We change each other's wound dressings. Good things happen. Variation three, we are created for healing. It's in our DNA. Thanks be to God. Thank you.
As we've mentioned throughout this month, this is March Food Share Month, and we are collecting rice and money for Francis Basket. If you brought rice tonight, you can come forward during the offering and put it in the basket by the baptismal font. We have two more weeks to up our rice quota um, and our giving. So I invite you to consider those who are hungry as we settle into these last days of Lent. Once again, as we sing our prayer tonight, I invite you to come forward and light a candle as you wish uh, in solidarity of healing prayer for the world or for yourself or any concern that you want to bring forward. Soothe your soul. 
suffering ones. Heal afflicted ones. Shield your joyous ones. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, our Father, our Bless to us, O God, the moon that is above us, the earth that is beneath us, the friends who are around us, the rest which is before us. As we leave tonight, confirmation students and leaders, we're making another switch. You're going to be down in the Mississippi room. That's the one right below here. So go down to Fellowship Hall and you'll see what's happening down there. Um, you'll begin there and then you'll break into your groups. Those adults who would like to stay for conversation about some of the themes we've discussed here tonight may join us in the gathering place immediately following worship. Created for community, we share Christ's peace. Thank you. Peace be with you.